Things are helpless babies living in a golden playpen and Nick's their nanny. And by the time he's done cleaning up after them, there's nothing, and I mean nothing, left of him for me. Nick? I have made more time for us, and I've been completely supportive of Lisa wanting to open her own art gallery. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you excuse me just for one second? Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just, it's my client who's on trial for murder, but she can wait. You know, many couples find that creating a special time free from workday distractions, a meal, perhaps. Nick. I told you, Lisa, after Patrick's Senate campaign is over and Letitia's murder trial is done, things will be easier. You'll calm down, I promise. You too probably feel like you're having a really hard time. Mm -hmm. But you're being honest with each other about your dissatisfactions, and that's... All right, look, this one I should probably take. I'm sorry. Hey, Brian, what's up? You kidnapped our son! Andrea, our son stowed away on my jet. I had nothing to do with it. You planted the idea in his head. The pygmy has a mind of his own. And let's face it, unlike you, is smart enough to realize he'd be better off here with me. I want to be with both of you. That's why I stowed away. That's why I called Nick. Your son told me he has two weeks off from school and rather than return to Brazil, he wants to stay here in New York, splitting his time. Just for the record, your brother is not exactly a fair arbitrator. I'm not partial to Brian. Yeah, well, back at you, boss. I'm partial to my nephew because, like him, I had to live through years of my parents' crap, and it's not fun. You're two adults. It's two weeks. The kid deserves a vacation. Figure it out. Nice work. You've created a situation where our son has had to hire a lawyer. I. Created. What did I just say? You were the one who kidnapped him. Kidnapped again. Kidnapped! Why do you deliberately provoke me? I just said, don't think kidnapped again. And you say it! Hey, I was a favorite fella. She needs a tiny favor. Well, what is it? I have to go to the crime region to try and settle everything for Pat's election night party, but after that. It's about the party. See, well, I want to be there, so if you could get me excused from my house arrest, I could be there. You know, for Patty. Letitia, do you remember Ellen's memorial service? Hmm, didn't come off smoothly. Brian and I wound up in jail. Mm. So maybe it's best for our case if you start acting like you're actually under arrest. Mama. Jeremy. You think I can do to help? Help is on the way. My new fuel which I'll be ready to produce in mass quantities suitable for commercial distribution within the next decade. Oh, hey, hi. I can wait outside. No, no, you got my message. Good. Stay. This won't take a minute. Ni hao. Okay, so, what's cooking? Last week I asked you to marry me. I, I know. It was very exciting. And I've waited a week for your response. But I haven't heard a word from you. Obviously, you're not ready to take this to the next level. Really? Right here? If you're not willing to respect me enough to give me an answer when I ask you a direct question, we're through. Forgive me. What? What? Because we can, we, can, we can talk about, we can talk about this later. No, there is no later. It's over. Done. Go. Go. Sorry, where were we? Ah, uh, uh, yes, the world is changing rapidly. In a favor. I just did you a favor. You're double dipping. Uh, my mom wants to go to Patrick's election party at the Crown Regent. Two words, house arrest. If your mother was up for murder, then you asked me for a hall pass to go see your brother win an election. 
I would totally do it. Jeremy, I can just go into the judge's office and ask for favors on your mother's behalf. It would just be weird. Not as weird as it like if I went to her office, told her what you just did to me. Well, or what I'm about to do to you. Play hardball. You? I like it. It's been a rocky road to the Senate for Attorney General Patrick How Darling. How can anyone not trust that face? You look so honest. I look so fat. With voting to begin in less than 48 hours, incumbent Senator Danielle Root still holds a narrow three-point lead in the polls, placing her in a statistical dead heat with Patrick Darling. Please. You're nervous. I was. I was a wreck until you came back. I don't know how I ever would have faced this alone. You got this far without me. Barely. <laughs> but. I just never thought I'd be here. By your side for your biggest moment. This is going to be our biggest moment. Public with Carmelita? Are you out of your mind? I will not keep her hidden anymore. Election night, whether I win or lose, Dad, I'm going public with our relationship. Done. You do realize, do you not, that there could not possibly be a worse time for this? You say that like there would be a time that would please you. What your father is saying, Patrick, is that should you win, this revelation would impair your ability to govern. To say nothing of how it will steal away the very thunder of a night that you and I have been talking about, have been dreaming about for years. And again, of course, that may be your intention. No, 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 no. You two aren't going to bully me out of this. Not this time. Carmelita's going to be there by my side, and that's that case closed, the end. See, I'm not like you, Dad. I live from my heart, not my head. And that's how I intend to govern once I get to Washington. Mr. Darling is in with someone. Well, well, well. Hello, Chase. Patrick? Trip? I can only imagine what I'm interrupting. Should I call security, sir? It's okay. Hello, Chase. We missed you at the funeral. What's going on? Nick George. Chase Alexander. Chase is Ellen's brother. Been a few years, huh? So how's it going, Chase? Are you still punishing Quail down there at Sand Hill? I'll tell you the truth, Trip. I really hadn't had the stomach for it this year. Well, that's too bad. I was thinking... I know you killed my sister, you son of a bitch. Whoa! Wait, listen, I didn't do anything. But Ellen was the one who... Andrew. Andrew. She loved you. And you took her away from Mom and me forever, and you never even looked at her what? back. That is not true. I know you did something, you bastards. And I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out what you did to my sister, and you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay, you son of a bitch! He's obviously nuts. He's also kind of right. Oh, that's rubbish, Nick. Ellen tried to kill my son, and she died in the attempt. Her death was accidental. The events that occurred thereafter were affected only to avert misunderstanding. The election's tomorrow? I'm aware of that, Patty. Perhaps even more than you are. Now it's obvious that Chase is agitated. Frantic. But nonetheless, he's the uncle of my grandchildren, and... I I'm going to need you to talk to him, Nick. Find out what he wants. Make him feel safe. Okay? I will see what I can do. I love it. Light. How much? What kind of clientele are you prepared to attract? Uh, I have relationships with a lot of major collectors. Such as? The Ingersolls, the McMillans. Pretty tight with Lucy Lawless. Lucy's a major collector now? Anyone with major taste is a major collector as far as I'm concerned. That's just me. Let me turn on the lights in here. Bill Gates parks his helicopter on the roof of this building when he visits the city. Bono is a regular at the sushi bar. And I've never heard of you or the McMillans. My money is as good as anybody's. It's not, actually. You're a first-time dealer with second-rate clients. 
I wish you'd been more forthcoming when you called. I wouldn't have wasted your time. Thanks. I am looking for Chase Alexander. Well, this is the number he gave me. Yes, Chase Alexander. Just, did he say when he might be back? All right, tell him that Nick George called. He has the number, okay? Thank you. The Crown Regent Hotel call. Good news only, Daisy, good news. They wish Patrick the best of luck. But they've suddenly become unavailable for his reception tomorrow night due to the political leanings of the new owner. Perfect. And Nick? Karen Darling's here to see you. Thank you, Daisy. So what does Simon do now? Asked me to marry him. And what did you say? I didn't say anything for a whole week. Because? I was thinking, God, Nick, I've been married four times. Even I have shame. So what happened? He dumped me. No, he won't return my calls. He won't let me see him. Wow, sounds like he really loves you. He does love me. Nick, this is my fault. This is my fault, Nick. Oh, God, I feel so stupid. You asked me to marry you all those years ago, and I just let that offer slip away, and now, Simon, it's like, I marry the guys I don't love, and I lose the ones I do. God, would you talk to him? You want me to talk to Simon? Yeah. No. Why not? Because I think you dodged a bullet. Look, I don't think Simon loves you the way you think he does. Not even close. Then what's the harm in it? Go to him. There's nothing you love more than being right, right? And if Simon doesn't love me, I'm sure you'll let me know. Please. Karen, I love you. Hello? Thanks for meeting with me. Not an easy guy to find. You alone? Completely. So I assume you want me to shut the hell up and go away, right? Not at all. I just want to hear what you think happened, that's all. Okay, you really want to know? Mm-hmm. I think my sister was fed up with Patrick and his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, I know all about her. Or him. My guess says Ellen was going to leave Patrick and take the kids. And then he killed her. Or had her killed. Then you just dumped a body in that wedding cake castle of theirs and burned it down to cover it all up. Divorce, darling style. Listen, Chase, I know that you're in pain. Well, you don't know anything about it. Now, maybe brother's intuition isn't good enough to send somebody to jail, but once I go to the press or the DA and I tell them what I know, it'll sure make things hard for Patrick tomorrow. So you go. Run and tell Trip. Bet he thought he had this election in the bag, didn't he? Well, now he's going to feel what it's like to lose something. to him, and that's as much as we can do Nikki. at this point. Oh, you are such a dear. Moving the entire campaign party here just for me. But you didn't need to. I'd just gotten permission to go out. Uh, hang on. What? How, well, how did you manage that? Oh, Jeremy took care of it. Friend of a friend, he said. He can be quite charming, you know. Yeah, yeah. Charming's a nice way to put it. Hey, Pat. Did Chase seem unstable to you? Is he still threatening to go public? Stability is not the first word I'd use to describe it. Great. Okay, Nick. Uh, see you later. What's wrong? Nothing. That was just standard political ops for tonight. It didn't sound like standard political ops. It was unstable. <sighs> what aren't you telling me, Patty? Look, if I told you to trust me, would you? You know I would. Mm-hmm. Trust me, it's nothing. Mona Lisa! 
Jeremy. Getting her vote on. I like it. Are you following me again? Heck no. I am exercising my democratic right. Besides, you'd be relieved to know that my heart is otherwise occupied. Oh? With whom? Sadly, I cannot say. Don't let it get you down. Um, it's not what's getting me down. What's the matter, Nick? Forget your birthday? No, the gallery space I'm wanting to rent. They rejected me because apparently I don't have enough fantastic celebrity clients. You ever mentioned yours truly? The name Darling comes up enough in my life. Thank you very much. I respect like that. I do. It was totally the wrong choice. Go back to Voldemort. Tell him I'll be your partner. No way. It'll clinch the deal. And Nick would kill me and you. Mm. Not necessarily in that order. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. To see you with your own gallery would be a thing of beauty. Come on, you know you were put on this earth to tell people what art to buy. So what if we need to grease the wheels with a little darling oil? It's just business. Think about it. Ciao. So what will it be today? Uh, threat? Request? Warning? Question, actually. What are you doing with Karen? You proposed to her, you dumped her. What's your game? You know what? I'll tell you. Karen Darling only wants what she can't have. Am I right? My guess is right about now she's missing the hell out of me. In about a day or so, if I ignore all of her phone calls and her texts, she'll be ready to beg me to take her back now. When she comes crawling, and we both know she will, I'll marry her. Take all the shares she has of Darling Enterprises, combine them with the shares I've been steadily acquiring, and uh, take over Trip Darling's company. Okay. <laughs> uh, so why are you telling me this? <laughs> Because, Nick, I trust that you'll take the information I've just given you and you will put it to good use. Hmm? And, and, and don't forget to vote. I won't. Who do you vote for? <laughs> Come on. What, based on your feelings for the darlings? It's a fair question. I voted for Patrick. Well, on behalf of the family, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell you something you're not gonna like, but I want you to hear me out, okay? It's an interesting use of our special time, but okay, go for it. I can't get the gallery space that I want that I need unless I use a celebrity connection, and um, Jeremy offered to be my partner. You went to Jeremy for help? No, 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 no. We ran into each other when we were voting, and he said he'd go on it with me. No. He's not after me anymore, Nick. He's bone for some other girl. What girl? I don't know. I don't care. I... Look, I can set boundaries, Nick. I can handle it. Actually, you've proven that you can't. I already set up a follow-up appointment with Lisa, the owner I don't to try care. To I don't him. care. I won't allow it. I'm just trying to do something with my life. Well, then try again. Why don't you try doing it in a way that isn't a tremendous insult to me, your marriage, and your daughter, and all the things that we're in therapy trying to save? Me having something of my own can be part of saving everything. Wow. Well, Lisa, if you want something of your own, then you should do it on your own. The answer is no. Thank you so much for that special time. So you met with Chase, you heard him out. I did. And to his theories, Trip, about what really happened are not that far from the truth. Yeah, he's always been sharp. He's also desperate. I found out that since Ellen's death, he's lost his job, the bank's foreclosing on his house, and the monthly checks that Ellen was sending him have obviously dried up. So he's a man who has nothing to lose. Um, thinks we should offer him a way out of this cul-de-sac he's found himself in. You want me to pay him off? I won't do it. 
by not going to the police, I am already deeper into this cover-up than I want to be. We all are, Nick. Trust me, I'm not advocating any further attempts to cover anything up. So, what do you want me to do? Go back to him with the package. A combination of financial relief in the short run, and a long-term plan of some sort. A position in one of the companies. But he was taking money from Ellen. This is not really any different. So you want me to pay him off? I want you to invite him in, Nick. He's family. And Carmelita? Is Pat still dead set on having her by his side for his acceptance speech? Well, I'll have a chat with Carmelita. Myself. Go to Chase, Nick. Time, I believe, is of the essence. I'm sorry I'm late. I called your office and they said you were already on your way, so... That's no problem at all. Uh, uh, so listen, um, I talked with my husband and I'm afraid it's just, um, it's not going to work out. I'm, I'm sorry for wasting your time. I'm confused. Uh, your partner's already signed the lease. My partner? Hello, Mrs. Guggenheim. Uh, what, what are you doing, Jeremy? Well, I thought about our discussion. I called Severin. Voila. Welcome to the Lisa George Gallery. Just sign. Here and here. I... I, I, I can't. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Keep this chilled. Sorry for the uh, ambush. No, me, I can't resist the big entrance. Oh, Jeremy, I appreciate this, but I can't. I talked to Nick about you helping me, and he went ballistic. It's perfectly understandable. Doing this will cost me my marriage. It's not worth it. Doing this won't cost you anything. Telling Nick that you're doing it. You want me to go behind his back? I want you to have your cake and eat it, too. I mean, come on, Lise. Who deserves this more than you? I wanted this back you think my whole life. You'll totally rock at it. Yeah. It's not like Nick denies himself anything when it comes to his career. Where? Come on, Lise. Think of yourself for a change. Nick can never find out about this. Never will. Case making begin. Hey, they're late. Is Brian Jr. with you? Why would he be with me? I can't find him. We were running late this morning and I, and I jumped in the shower and I. Brian! You had a nice shot. You're supposed to be here like over an hour ago. Brian, listen. I am telling you the truth. I can't find our son. I'm gonna call the police. Brian! <gasps> Trip! What are you doing here? Uh, the, the bellboy said he thought it would be better if I were to wait inside. <sighs> what do you want? Patrick, let me know that you were planning to share the stage with him tonight at the victory celebration. Is that a problem? Well, for me, uh, certainly there are concerns, but my concerns are secondary to my concerns for you. What concerns? That your appearance on stage with Patrick could give rise to unseemly questions about you and about Ellen's death. Ellen's death? What about it? It's complicated. Complicated? <sighs> Ellen didn't die in a fire, did she? Regrettably, no. <sighs> then tell me what really happened. 
Sit down, my dear. So your house would be paid for in full. College funds for your girls would be put in place, established in your name. And like I said, if you're interested, that position at Darling Avionics could be yours. You know, you people make me sick. Look, Chase. If you really feel you have to go to the police or the press with this story, and I'm not speaking on behalf of the Darling family when I say this, I understand. I just worry that the amount of money you're going to be offered for this story isn't really going to be enough to solve your problems. And we both know that there's no guarantee that you'll find the justice you're seeking. So the truth. The truth doesn't matter anymore. Oh, sister, what you yeah, oh, oh, you you stop, stop, okay? Just respect me enough to just stop. I mean, don't you people know when you've won? I mean, who am I kidding anyway, right? I'm trying to do the right thing. I got a wife, and three kids. All right. You can have my silence. I take it you know where to find me to send the check? Yeah, we do. You know, you sounded a lot like Trip Darling back there, Nick. He must be so proud. The polls are about to close and hopes remain high here at the Imperial, the legendary multi-story mansion that Patrick Darling calls home. The candidate has been With behind closed doors. 18 percent over the incumbent Senator Danielle Root. In Oswego County, a typically blue-collar haven, Darling is creeping up with a little over 49% of the votes there. If it strikes anyone as a surprise that Darling is doing... Have you seen Carmelita? No, I haven't. You put her on the list, right? Yeah, she's on the list. Well, I've left her five messages and she hasn't called back. You don't think that trip... I just walked in. Hey, guys. Dad? The turns are coming in. Okay. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy, wait up. Nice work on getting that temporary furlough for your mom. Well, that's me, you know, Jeremy Darling, power broker. You know, something like that requires a motion from the DA's office, right? Is that Cracker Jack legal mind? You want to tell me who you're friends with over there that has that kind of legal pull? Whoa! We're serving domestic limoncello? Excuse me, Nick, I gotta go talk to the help. Jeremy. This stuff is toxic! Um, he's about four foot tall and has a face like a smirk. Here's a recent picture, and he's four foot two, exactly. And, uh, she's the one who lost. <gasps> what, you did? Come back to Buffalo, Albany's good. Syracuse? Still a toss-up. Did you talk to him? Who? Simon! Yeah, well, we talked. And... Well, I don't know how to say this. Okay, he's really calling off, isn't he? No, actually, he wants to marry you. Oh, God, Nick, thank you. That's great. But you shouldn't do it. Why? He's using you, Karen. Simon only wants you for your shares in Darling Enterprises. It's part of his grand plan to take us over. How would you know that? Because he told me. Why would he say that to you? Oh, but he's a lock. That's great, thanks. You are such a jerk. Karen, listen, it's the truth. You just want to keep me waiting forever, wishing for you. No. Uh-huh, but never quite having you. I thought you were better than that, Nick. Karen. What happened to you? <sighs> With 4% of the vote counted, it's too close to call. Poll watchers around the state are reporting record turnout despite inclement weather in some of the precincts around the Adirondacks and Great Lakes. It's an election that has inspired voters of every description, from Pipsy to the Hamptons, to make their voices heard, possibly because no one can stay peaceful. You came. I did. But I can't stay. What's the matter? I know everything. About what? Ellen's death. I know that. 
I know she attacked you. I know she slipped and fell. I know you moved her body and burned her to avoid some scandal. Who told you this? Does it matter? What matters is I can't be with someone who's capable of taking part in such a massive lie. Sweetheart, please. It's not a discussion, Patty. I moved back after all these months because I wanted to be with a man that I loved. But I don't know him anymore. Carmelita, please. Goodbye. Let me go. Just tell me who told you this. Please, just... I've always believed he was bound for greatness. He just carried himself differently from other children. Would you all please excuse us for a moment? My father and I need to discuss something privately. Excuse me. I want to talk to you. You make me sick. What's happened? You told Carmelita. I spoke to Carmelita, yes. When are you going to learn to stay the hell out of my life? It was, in my opinion, Necessary for her sake. I know how much she means to you. So you drove her away? Patrick, why don't we you stay out of this, Nick? This is a family matter. Got it? I didn't drive her away. Is that right? Will you please explain to him that it would never have worked out having Carly to by his side? It wouldn't have been seemly. And it would not have been safe for her. What about me, Dad? Why can't you just finally admit you've made this election all about you? Nick, will you please explain to him? that what I did was the right thing to do. I know that's how you saw it, Nick. Oh my God. You can't even convince him. You pay him to buy your crap. Enough, Patrick. Lord. What now? Oh. No. Oh my God. No shortage of behind-the-scenes drama tonight. As just moments ago, Trip Darling, the family patriarch and father to Senate candidate Patrick Darling, was rushed by ambulance here after suffering an apparent heart attack. He was lucky, actually. The EKG confirms that Mr. Darling suffered an MI, but there should be no lasting damage to his heart. Oh. Thank God. He'll sleep a while. I advise you all to go home and do the same. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Patrick? Mom? Come in here, quick. Come on. Patrick Darling's flamboyant family has been featured in headlines on an almost daily basis. With 78% of precincts reporting, we are calling a winner. The newest senator from the state of New York is Patrick Darling. It looks like it's made of Manhattan has come through his favorite. Wonders never cease. So proud of you. Even more attention to the city But I found that election headquarters fuzz around in a month. God, baby. So Where have you been? I didn't want to hear you and mommy fighting. So you ran away? Uh-huh. I took the subway to Coney Island, but then it started to get dark, so I left, and I got kind of lost. Well, the important thing is that you're safe now, okay? And you don't do that again, okay? Okay. You don't do that again. All right. Congratulations, Pat. No, it's not how you planned it, but thanks. Look at him. Like Freddy Krueger, just waiting for a chance to kill again. You're angry, I get it. No, I'm not angry. Because now I understand how Trip Darling lives, works, operates fully. Victories have costs. Maybe I should take a little less Patrick Darling down to Washington and, uh, a little more trip. Well, that'll make your father happy. Oh, no, it won't. Ryan, this is good. 
Evangeline Wise, I think you know that tonight is... Yeah, I know, Andrea. It's your night with him. I know how eager you must be to have another chance to lose him again. No, no. What I meant was, why, why don't we just take him home together? We need to work this out. Hey. Sorry if I was a little rough on you before. No punches thrown? Kind of progress for us, huh? Yeah. Hey, Jeremy. Could you do me a favor? My phone is dead. Keep it. I got extras. Thanks. involved with Simon, but I did. And now Nick's telling me that Simon only wants me so he can take over the company. I don't know what to do. You know, you're going to have to learn how to make decisions without his help. Because one day... I know. Your hall pass runs out in 10 minutes. Oh. I don't think we want another Nola Lyons production. I make your point. The last one by his side, Nikki. Out of everyone. your brother's coronation <laughs> this is more important I'm listening I'm, I'm sorry That's it. No. I want to say yes. <laughs> uh, yes. To what? Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> but the offer still stands. cheeks.
do, Nick. They win. Yeah, he won, Trim. He won. That's quite a day. For any couple. A happy ending, at least. For the darlings. What about the Georges? How about their happy ending? I got the gallery. Yeah? All on my own. No help from Jeremy. I, I was gonna tell you. Well, that's great. That is great. I am very proud of you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I forgot to turn it off. Sorry. Here. Like I said, if the two of you can keep being honest with each other, you can overcome anything.